Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Vintage Source Weekend this uh, December, Saturday and Sunday, which is the 14th and 15th of December. We have our big boxwood resale, as you can see. This is your last chance to shop at the Vintage Source before um, January of 2020, when we'll be back open again. So we have a lot to show you for your Christmas holiday shopping. In addition to the boxwood wreaths, we also um, have topiaries of different sizes. Um, several people have asked on Facebook price ranges, and I do have that posted for the boxwood wreaths and the topiaries if you're interested in finding out um, general pricing. Jenny has several big Santas that she's gotten in. I'll just go around and we'll do a roundup of Santa. I guess this one is um, like Chef Santa. I'm not sure what this one would be, but I would call him Fancy Pants Santa. I think that's like a, a fleur de lis in his, in his staff there. Maybe he's like a New Orleans Santa. I just love this uh, cabinet that Jenny has, but I'm gonna get closer because I want you to see she's still bringing in new ornaments. This is a really cool set. Uh, it says Thomas Piccone Classics. Really beautiful. And then look at these fun ones for kids. There's like little robots. I guess that's what they are. Really and then cool. she has these, um, I believe these are all Christopher Radko uh, retired ornaments. You know, so she has several different ones of that. These are neat. I don't know if you saw these last time, but they're little, they're the little ones, the little tiny ones that you put on those mini trees, or um, you can hang them on the tobacco stick trees that I sell here. Um, they're tiny, about the size of maybe two thumbs. And these Prosecco bar signs, they remind me of several of my girlfriends. are different for nutcrackers. Doesn't that look like the Tin Man? And I don't know if that's supposed to be Dorothy or something else, but they're kind of cool. And he also got in some interesting pink um, and salmon colored ornaments. I'll go around and show a bunch of those at once. So these ornaments that I'm showing here are retired Joan Rivers ornaments from the early 2000s and they are um, small and eggs. Here are the oversized ones. They're they're really stunning. Um, love the shamrock. Love this blue one that looks like a pine cone. I mean, they're really detailed. They're very interesting. Um, they're all from Joan Rivers' Russian collection. These are brass, so we've got the Eiffel Tower, I guess that's the Golden Gate Bridge, um, the Statue of Liberty, very interesting. So I'm showing you this because these are to die for beautiful crystal glasses, vintage from England. Um, they did some research, it's a Stuart crystal, and you can see that there's a set of 36 pieces. Anybody that collects crackle glass, 
I'm trying to show you, we have it high up on a shelf over here, different shades. back to ornaments again. We have tons and tons of retired Hallmark ornaments. All at great deals. a pair of these pre-lit um, little mini Christmas trees that would go like on your mantle or on your dining table. They're very nice. These are um, rustic lanterns. I have them uh, in different shapes and sizes. ornaments um, we have some retired Vera Bradley ornaments they are hand reverse painted they're absolutely vibrant gorgeous and we have them in the smaller size as well is an old um, panel door made into a Christmas tree. I have bows and I have lots of discounted ribbon for you to put on your boxwood wreaths. really like these um, Moroccan style um, tables, a pair. I recently found the coolest lamp shades for these starfish lamps. They're kind of oblong shades so they don't take up a whole lot of room on your, um, on your furniture. This is a really gorgeous piece that Lisa recently did by hand. Um, it's rather large, oversized, um, vibrant seaweed. Beautiful. This is an oyster shell she did again in a large oversized frame and this one's in acrylic. She has this cute little sandpiper. have those birch log bundles outside the that would look really cute in these baskets next to your fireplace or even on your front porch so we'll see you this weekend Saturday and Sunday 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. it is our last show before 2020 uh, we will be open on December 14th and 15th this Saturday and Sunday we have lots and lots of decor vintage ornaments new ornaments gift ideas, and of course our boxwood wreath sale and topiaries. See you this weekend.